Hello YouTube. Okay, in this session we are going to learn about sketching planes in three dimensions. And we're going to do this in Mathematica. So if you would like to do this with me, stay tuned and we'll proceed from here. Okay, so we have an equation of a plane. And this question asks to sketch that equation. Now I'm going to talk about how you would do this by hand. So basically what you would want to do is find three points on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Uh, sketch those points and then connect them as lines. Connect uh, the points with lines. Okay, so we will do that first and then I'll show you how uh, to sketch the plane in Mathematica. All right, but all of this, of course, will be in Mathematica because I don't have a pen and paper to be able to do this and record it. All right, so let's begin. Now, first of all, you would want to uh, take the equation and consider when y and z are both equal to zero. All right, so when you've got y equals zero, z equals zero, this 2y minus z is zero. And if you were to solve this for x, then, well, you can just see that x will be uh, equal to minus 2. Okay, so that gives you one point. Let's call it p. p equals the point minus 2, 0, and 0. Now, uh, let's do the same uh, to find a point on the y-axis. All right, so if we let x equal 0, we let z equal 0, then we must have y equals 3. All right, so 0, 3, 0, and let's call this Q. All right, and finally, a point on the z-axis. Well, if we let x equals 0, y equals 0, then we must have z equals minus 6. So let's let that be R, 0, 0, minus 6. Okay, now we have three points. Uh, let's enter these into memory, Shift-Enter. Now they are in memory. Okay, next what we want to do is connect these with a line, all right? But we're going to have several lines. So let's begin with the first one. So we write line, uh, and we want to draw a line from P to Q. Okay, so let's call this A. And then we're going to want a line from P to R. And we'll call this B. And finally, uh, you'll want a line from Q to R. But you can't call this C because uppercase C is protected. So let's call it something that looks like that. Let's call it G. All right, so we can enter these lines into memory. Now they're in memory. Next, what we want to do is show the graphics of this. Okay, so I'll say graphics. And then I want to show the graphics of A, B, and G. And then I can see I have a little uh, error. So that's because I've missed the 3D. Okay, so graphics 3D, brackets A, B, G. And now we can see the image of these three lines in the plane. And I'll have to make this smaller so we can fit it in the screen. All right, now what we have are points on each of the axes. So it looks like this line here will probably be the z-axis, this may be the x-axis, the y-axis, but you can check just by um, thinking about it a little bit and, and changing things or labeling the axis and even including the axis with the arrow command. All right, but you can pick this up and move it around Okay, and, and this 
what you see here, the the plane that all of these points are on, and hopefully you can visualize it with this triangle, this is the plane that you've sketched. So this is what you would do by hand, and then you might fill in the rest. Okay, now let's talk about how you could do this uh, in Mathematica. Right, so let's go back and look at the equation. Okay, so we would simply enter the equation first, minus 3 times x plus 2 times y minus z, and I'll put equals equals 6, and then we want to plot all of it. Um, so I think what I want here is contour plot 3D. All right, let's see if this is right. Now x goes from, let's say, from minus 6 to 6. The same for y. And the same for z. In the bracket and see what this looks like. I press shift enter, scroll down here. And now we get a little bit of a different picture, right? So this is uh, a different way to plot the same plane. Okay, so that completes that question. Now let's look at the next question in this problem sheet. And I am on the, the, the fifth chapter of my PDF file that will appear on my website. And this is called a YouTube course in Mathematica. So you can download that for free on my website. Okay, so let's have a look at the next problem. Now this says use list point plot 3D to plot these three points and connect these by lines. Okay, so we can enter it exactly like what we have here. So I'll put p equals 1, 9, minus 4. q equals 6, minus 2, 4. r equals 1, 0, 9. s is equal to the collection of those points, p, q, r. And then what we want is to use list plot point 3D. So this is a function that allows you to plot a collection of points in three dimensions. So let's put A equals list point plot 3D and the brackets. So I want to do that with the collection of points S. And then we want to specify plot style to increase the point size. So plot style point size and then we'll specify 0 0.02. All right, shift enter and then what we'll see is these three points and and you can see that they are a little bit bigger so that we can see them. Okay, now if we put a semicolon, that will suppress the output, and we can continue to the next set of commands. Right, and the next set of commands is simply to connect those by points. So we can include the lines in the same graphic, okay? So we'll, we'll just do this. B equals, and that was graphics 3D. Okay, now these are simply the collection of lines. All right, so line from P to Q, comma. All right, in order to make this easy and quick, I'll just copy this 
paste, paste, get rid of the last comma, and I'll change this. Q to R, and then you want Q, sorry, P to R, then you want Q going to R, and that should be the lot of them. Okay, those are the collection of lines. Let's visualize that, plot it. Okay, there are these lines that form a triangle. Now remember we want to plot these together, so next we can just go show. And we want to show what we've just put. Whoops. A and B together. All right, now we've got them all in the same um, plot. And we can move this around just by grabbing it, left click and move this around which helps you visualize it a little bit better. <clears throat> okay, so I hope that was helpful and we'll finish off for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.